hello welcome back today we're going to look at the 2024 computer studies YEC, and we'll be looking at a question one uh before we begin you need to take note of this instruction you are expected to create um a folder on the desktop and then you are given an example of what name to call it so it is very important that you do that so i'm going to quickly do mine so that all my files and this very um lesson will be saved there so you come to your desktop you right click then go to new folder and then you write yeg then with your reg number once you do that you hit your enter key and we're good to go okay so here we have it it says uh, using a word processing application Design a certificate of commendation to some of the prefects of your school. You need to put in the name of your school there. On the occasion of validatory service for exceptional performance. All right. So from B, these are the specification and what and what you expect to put into the design. Okay. So you format your certificate as follows. Okay. So let's quickly launch our Microsoft Word. click on the blank document all right so since you're designing a certificate um you can either choose to leave it as portrait or choose to leave it as landscape okay so um anyone you choose i think is perfect because a certificate can be either landscape or portrait once you've opened your application the first thing you need to do is to save it why to avoid problems okay maybe something goes wrong maybe there's a power outage for for any reason if your system just goes off before we save that there's something of note i want us to take note of here here we are requested to to use a style word art style 8 word art style 8 now the challenge is that the version of microsoft word i'm using uh, does no longer support this word style 8. I will quickly show you what I mean. So let's say I type something here and I'm supposed to use the word at. So if I go to insert and then I go to word at right there, you see, if I hover on this, I won't be able to see anything called word at uh, style 8. Okay. But that very name naming convention is available in other versions okay so for us to see that we need to um save this as an older version of microsoft word so you hit your control s browse and then go to your desktop and locate the folder okay so the instruction says save your work with your index number in the folder created okay so you save it with your index number whatever your index number is before you click on save you need to come here to change this version to 97 to 2003 so this is the version that will give you access to uh, the naming convention used in the question as per the word art that you need to insert okay so we we'll click on save and we're good all right so let's now go back to the question so the first thing we need to type the name of the school so i'm going to type charles dale so there's it charles dale memorial international school so the next thing i need to do is to the font type is times new roman okay so i need to change that to times new roman times new roman so the font style what at style 8 so we need to come back here select the whole of this go to um insert and then what at once you're there you are able to see it displayed like this so you just um hover around it to display that the name so normally they are numbered in an ascending order all right so you see there that's five and that's six 
this should be seven and this is eight okay so you click on that and you're going to have this window displayed the edit word ads window so this is in times new roman um so what font size 32 32 what else do we need to change uppercase so we already have that in uppercase so let's click on ok once we do that we can now uh, go to home and centralize it all right so we're good here so the next thing we need to do is to type certificate of commendation certificate of commendation so this one has the fonts name copper plate select all copper plate yeah so we still go back to insert word art and then we look for 16. okay so this is the word at 16. so we click on that and then we have this what is the font size font size is 28 and it should be uppercase and center aligned okay 28 uppercase so let's click on that and then i think it's already center aligned all right so the next thing we need to do now is to type all of this is awarded to that da, 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 all the way okay so we need to type this we need to type this All right, so let's quickly do that. okay so here we are asked to change it the font type will be brush script empty and the size is 18. so we need to select all of this brush script empty and then the font size is 18. good so since we have it like this now so we need to uh, delete part of this so that it can align just like the sample that was given to us so i think this is good so we need to do the same thing here all right okay this is good all right so this looks okay uh this is supposed to be in bold okay so the next thing we need to type is principal and then date okay so let's do that principal date all right so for the principal the font type is still the same empty the same brush script empty and then the size is 18 so this is good but for the date uh the font is lucinda handwriting and then the size is 12. select that lucinda handwriting 12. okay uh, so let me take this out since it's not included what else do we need to do okay so this one says type the following information where you have dotted lines okay so your name and index number on the first dotted line so name and index number so we can just uh, put this on top of here because if we do 
the line is going to uh, be in this array and you know normally in an actual um, certificate the writing will appear on top so the best uh, way to do that is to use the text tool so I'm going to click on the text tool and I'm going to drop that here then I'll type my name and my index number so you must make sure that your index number that you're typing here corresponds make sure that it is your index number no mistakes here please but these lines do not need to appear okay so you can click on it and then go to text box when you're there go to um shape outline and then you say no outline equally we don't want any of the background to appear like this in case in case we need to drop this down a bit okay so you still go to fill and you do no fill okay so with that we're good to go so you can control d click hold and drag this down in order for us to enter the second text that says library prefect so we'll change that to library prefect ah sorry okay so after that today's date that's the current date in front of the date okay so you put in the current date you can just do ctrl d duplicate again drag it and take it to the date and then you put in today's date please make sure that the date is correct okay so that it does not uh, appear like it's a case of ex examination malpractice if you're watching this video up to this point that means you're really enjoying this video now why don't you take out time to just like share subscribe or follow depending on the platform that you're watching from you know that way the video gets to as many persons as possible now remember it will cost you nothing Thank you for doing that let's continue all right so the next thing we need to do is to change all of them to font type lucinda handwriting size 22 for all of them so just need to come here select this and go to home lucinda handwriting size is 22 and uh, we can position it probably the way we want it oh all right we do the same thing with this one and then finally the date okay so this looks good you can adjust this a bit if you want okay so this looks okay um let's go back to the question okay save your work with your index number and folder so we've done this already so all we need to do at this point is to hit our control s okay uh finally is there any final thing we need to do here we can just maybe put some space uh in between this is here can just drop a space there and maybe another space here okay so at this point i think we're good to go so this is it you can save your work and print okay remember to print and print select your printer and hit the print button okay that's it okay so i hope this video was very helpful Please do well to share, like, subscribe, or follow, depending on the platform that you're watching us from, and um, comment, okay? Let me know if you have any concerns, if there's anything you want me to know, any question you want me to treat, do well to let me know. I will try as much as I can. Thank you all for watching. See you guys in the next video.